Hello, I'm Di from Superlucky and this is my guide to entering competitions on Instagram. If you're new to Instagram, please make sure you've watched my beginner's guide to Instagram video first because that will give you all the tips you need to get going. But this video is more about comping on Instagram. So I'll show you how to enter the different kinds of competition from the simple ones like follow, comment, tag a friend, to the more difficult ones like regramming and adding posts to an Instagram story. I'll also give you some tips on how to find competitions on Instagram and just general tips on how you could possibly win more prizes on the platform. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave a comment if there's anything you want to know more about. So let's take a look at the different kinds of competition you'll find on Instagram. I've actually saved a lot of posts so I can show you them easily and if I tap here you can see I've got a collection called competitions and in there I've got lots of different kinds of comps to show you. So this one here is pretty straightforward, it's from Australis, it's a video and all you need to do is follow them. So this was a post that actually came up on my feed as a sponsored post, so an advert, you can see at the top it's sponsored, um, if I swipe down here all you need to do is follow Australis UK um, so that's all you need to do if you scroll back up you can see that I can easily follow them here just by tapping follow so I've entered that competition that was an easy one uh, the next one is to like and follow so this one is Calypso Suncare which I've saved here so again this post I can just tap to follow there and if I want to like the post, I can do two things. I can either tap the heart or I could just double tap on the photo. So follow us and like this post. That's all you need to do. Obviously, if you do want to comment, you can leave a comment. It's a bit like a Twitter retweet. So you can retweet it. A lot of people like to reply with a comment as well, just in case the promoter is choosing from comments. The next one I'll show you is a comment competition from Barrett Sherbet Dib Dab. So there's going to be 20 winners in this one. You can win a goodie bag. They're asking you to answer three questions here. They're not even asking you to follow their account or to like the post. They're just asking you to answer the questions. But generally, I would usually follow and like anyway. So for this one, you need to leave a comment with the answers. And I know the answers to this one because I checked earlier and it is strawberry, lemon and sour apple. So tap the speech bubble and leave your comment there. This competition here I've saved is to win a bottle of Prosecco and in this one, again, you need to comment, but you need to tag a friend in your comment. So the steps you need to follow, first of all, you need to follow them. I'm following, you can see at the top here, like the post and tag a friend you'd share a bottle with. So to tag a friend, you need to leave your comment and you start it with at and then your friend's username. And if you mention them a lot, it should come up in your list there and simply post and you've entered. So those are all competitions where you're interacting on the promoter's post. They're the easiest type of competitions to enter on Instagram and you can actually do it on the Instagram website too. I'm now going to show you how you can add content to your own profile to enter competitions. And the first one I'll show you is this one here from Virgin Limited Edition. And they are giving away a three night holiday. And to enter this one, I mean, you can see here on the video, they've got the, the basic instructions of how to enter. You need to follow the account and then you need to share a holiday pick with VLE Travels. And if you scroll down here, it's got a bit more details. The closing date, the winning photo will be chosen by Richard Branson. So you know this one is judged. Okay, so for this one, I need to follow them first. Make sure I'm doing that. So to share your new photo, tap the plus sign at the bottom and go to wherever your photos are saved. I've got a favourites album here because I know that I've got a photo in there I want to use of a sunset from my holiday in Sweden last week. So I'm going to go to next. Um, I don't want to add a filter to that. I'm just going to put a bit of contrast on it by tapping the looks button at the top. You can see the effect that has there. It just adds a bit more depth to the photo. Tap on done. Next. Add a caption and put in a hashtag. What I like to do as well is tag the account that's running the competition. Even if they don't mention it, I like them to get a notification that they've been tagged. When you've done that, simply tap OK 
and share. If you have shared a new photograph using a hashtag, it's quite a good idea to open it up and just tap on that hashtag and make sure that your entry is coming up on this feed. So tap on recent and you should see your entry there at the top of the feed. If it doesn't come up, you might want to try reposting. Sometimes hashtags don't work as well as they should do. And that's how you share a new photograph on your feed using a hashtag and a company tag. Next, let's look at a regram, which is also called a repost or when you're simply asked to share something to your own Instagram feed. Now, Instagram doesn't offer a way to do this easily because it doesn't really like people sharing content that's not their own. However, in order to get yourself noticed on Instagram, companies have to ask people to do this. So you'll quite often see competitions where they ask you to share posts on your feed. There's one here I've found to win a bottle of whiskey. The instructions are to follow them and to get a second entry, repost the competition. So you don't have to repost, but you'll get two entries in the draw if you do. So I'm gonna show you the first way to do a repost, which is simply by taking a screenshot. And how you take a screenshot on your phone depends on the type of device that you've got. On an iPhone, you press the home key and the power button at the same time. The screen will flash and you'll hear a clicking noise. And that means that your screenshot is saved to your camera roll. Before you re-upload it to your Instagram, just check what you need to do with it. So this one, um, include us in the repost so I know you've done it. So that just basically means that you need to tag in Summerton Club in the repost. So click on the plus sign. There's the screenshot you've just taken, the last photo on your album. Jiggle it about slightly so it sits neatly on the screen without seeing the text at the top and bottom. Then simply tap next. You don't need to put any filters on. So all you need to do is mention Summerton Club here in the caption. I've actually put a bit of text before this. I rarely do regram competitions on my feed because I think they're ugly. So I like to put in hashtag regram when I do it so my followers know that that's for a competition I'm entering. Now, sometimes a promoter specifies how they want to be tagged, whether they want it in the caption or in the photo. If you're not sure, you can always do both. So if you tap tag people, tap the bottle and add Summerton Club as a tag to the photo as well, then you've done both. But usually they will say tag us in the caption or tag us in the photo. Now you're done, share to your feed. Now all that regram competition asked for was a tag. Quite often you will get regram competitions that ask for a unique hashtag as well. So I've got one of those to show you too, and I'm gonna show you a different way you can regram using an app for this one. So it's a competition with Karma Cola UK. Share this post with hashtag drink no evil to be in with a chance to be sent a crate to your office. TC is apply, share and tag it says here too. So even though it doesn't mention tagging here, it does mention it in the comment below. Now for this one, I'm going to use the repost app and what you need to do is tap the three dots at the top, copy link, and then go back to your device and find repost. There it is. This is a free app that you can use and the link that I copied appears at the top here. You can see below there's a previous repost competitions that I've done via this app. Next thing you need to do, tap the one that you want. You'll see that they put a little repost icon at the bottom. You obviously don't get that with a screenshot, but you do when you use the app. Tap on repost. Here you can choose to copy the caption from the original photograph. That's quite useful if there's a hashtag you need to include to make sure that you get it right. So I'm gonna do that. Copy caption and open Instagram. And then it takes you back to Instagram gets your photo ready to post here. You simply tap next, next again. And then when you get here, you can paste the full caption, which is actually quite long. The only thing I need here is drink no evil and karma cola. So get rid of everything else and then okay to share. Now the Drink New Evil hashtag they've used isn't unique. So if you tap it, there's loads of results. But if you look at recent, you can see all the entries for that competition. 
Next, I'm gonna show you how you can share a post into your Instagram story. A lot of bloggers like you to do this to enter their giveaways. They'll ask you to do several things to enter. You'll usually need to like, follow, tag friends, and then in this case, for example, you get extra entry by reposting into your stories and also liking her previous three Instagram photographs. So for this one, I'm gonna show you how you can add this post to your Instagram story. So underneath, look for the little paper plane icon and add post to your story. She's also asked you to tag her too. So what I usually do if I add to my story is I'll add a little bit of text. So I've added a bit of text to the top of the post in my story and then to add it to my story, I simply tap the plus sign at the bottom. To check that's in your story, go back to your profile, tap your profile picture and there's my story there. So if I tap that, it takes me to her profile there, where of course, I need to make sure that I'm following her and I've liked the post and tagged my friends. I'm gonna tag two friends here by using my keyboard shortcut, which I will show you later. There we go. So I've done the three important things. I've followed, tagged two friends, liked the post, and repost this post into your stories, clearly tag me, and like my past three Instagram photos. Uh, I always find that a bit of a tricky one because obviously if the giveaway is running for a while, then she'll be adding new photographs and it'll be hard for her to check that you've liked the three that you've said you've liked. Um, I'll like the last four just to be safe. So I have entered that giveaway. Now, if you mention someone in a story, they get a message in their inbox to say that you've mentioned them. And you can see here, Made From Beauty, she's responded saying thanks for entering her competition. So she knows that I'm in the prize draw now for that. So what about finding competitions on Instagram? Well, the first place to start is on your feed, of course, because you should be following loads of companies, loads of compers, and once you start entering competitions, Instagram will show you loads of promoted posts, so adverts for competitions as well. So once you scroll through, you should start spotting lots of competitions. You can also search for competitions on Instagram by tapping search at the bottom and then looking for hashtags. So one that you can try, for example, is UK competition. When you get the results, change from top to recent, tap on the first one and then just scroll through and see if there's anything you fancy entering there. If you do like that hashtag and you get some good results, you can follow it. You can see here that I'm following it. If I unfollow, just to show you how, what you do, tap on follow and anything with the hashtag UK competition, top posts will come in on your regular feed. Other hashtags you can try, UK giveaway, UK comp. You can use a more general hashtag like competition, but you will get a lot of results to sift through. So you have to get used to quickly looking down, working out what looks like a UK competition when you do this. It's not so easy. Another way to find competitions is to tap the heart and go to your activity feed, but not your own. Tap on following. If you're following enough compers, you will see their likes and comments on this activity feed. If you tap the posts, a lot of them are likely to be competition posts. You can also find competitions by going to visit your friends' profiles if they're compers. You can see that Emma's last post here is a regram. She's actually got a hashtag here, but she hasn't tagged them in the photograph, so I'm not sure what their account is. If I tap on the hashtag, though, I can see all the entries to this competition. And if I look at this regram here, where somebody's left all the text in it, I can actually see which account it is. So if I search for that then I know that that competition that Emma's entered should be somewhere on this feed. There it is. So I found the competition from her profile. Now I've found it, I'm gonna just bookmark it to enter it later on. If you can get together with a group of comping friends, it's really helpful to set up a little group to share competitions. You can see here, I've got an Instagram comps group. I've put in several of my friends in here and we just post competitions that we find in here. So that's a really good source of competitions as well. And if you can find a few Instagram compers and set up a similar group, then that's a great way to find new stuff. Another way to find competitions on Instagram, which might sound a little bit mad, is to actually use Twitter. So I've opened up the Twitter app and I'm searching for enter win Instagram. When I get my results, I'm gonna tap on latest and then scroll through 
and you should find a few competitions on here as well. There's the one that we've already entered, the whiskey one. A lot of these, quite annoyingly, they tell you to head over to Instagram, but they don't give you a link. So this is the kind of thing that will stop people from entering. But if you find something like this and you want to win, it's worth taking a bit of time to go over and search for the account. They've made it quite difficult for you to find them, but it hopefully means there will be less entries. Again, they've shared an Instagram competition, but they've linked directly to it. So if I tap on that link, it will open up the Instagram app and take me directly to their profile where I can look for the competition. So how do you find out if you've won a competition on Instagram? Well, there's a few ways that a promoter can let you know. The easiest way for them to let you know is just to send you a message. So you'll just check your messages by tapping on the paper plane top right and checking to see if you've got any new messages in there. If you get a message from somebody who you don't follow, you'll get a message request banner across the top of the screen. So you should always be checking regularly for those. Now, sometimes a promoter will mention you in their Instagram story. Now, Instagram stories are only around for 24 hours. If you're mentioned in an Instagram story, you need to be checking and going to see what that mention says, because if you miss it, you won't be able to see it and you might miss out on a prize. Again, if you're mentioned in a story, it will be in your messages. So let me scroll down and just show you an example down here. You can see that um, Neon Organics mentioned you in their story. So that comes in there. And I would have needed to click on that within 24 hours to see what they actually said. So be careful with that and make sure you're regularly checking your inbox. So if you're not messaged or mentioned in a story, you might just be mentioned on a post as well. Or it could be that the original competition post is edited to mention the winner's name. So if you're mentioned on a post, obviously that is on heart, it's under activity, and you will look here to check if you're mentioned in a comment by anybody. Essentially, if you're entering competitions on Instagram, you need to be regularly checking the app for activity and messages in your inbox to make sure that you don't miss any winning notifications. Finally, I'll just give you a few tips for Instagram. My first tip would be to make your profile look nice. If possible, don't do too many regram competitions at the end of a comping session. If anyone visits your profile, they want to go over and see some nice original content at the top of your page. So try and make it look as nice as you can. Lots of competitions on Instagram want you to tag friends. So it's quite a good idea to set up keyboard shortcuts to do this. On an iOS device, go to your settings, then general, and scroll down to keyboard. Text replacement is what you need. And if I just scroll down here, you can see I've already got some set up. So I've got IT1, that basically means Instagram tag one. Um, so Natalie, is my, she's my go-to Instagram user. So I've got, um, I know Natalie Lara 1989 would love this. And if I type IT1, that will come up as a comment, so I don't need to type the whole thing. Really quick shortcut. Um, IT2 and IT3, if I need to tag three friends, I put in IT3 and I've got a whole load of text there with three comping friends' names in. I've got one for IT2 as well with different friends in to make sure that I'm tagging different people all the time. But that's a really quick way of tagging people on Instagram. And if you want to set that up, just tap that and put in your shortcut. So for example, you can put your full long phrase in, super cute prize, Davina Mellon, and then shortcut is I cute, and save it in your list. Back on Instagram, I've got a um, competition here to win the baby shoes. So I'm gonna comment, and then my shortcut is I cute. Type that in, tap on that, and there is my sentence. Saves you a lot of time if you do a lot of Instagram competitions. Another tip is to just look for your favorite brands on Instagram, in particular clothes, beauty, and food, because they are really active on the platform. When you follow them, you'll get suggestions of similar brands as well. And of course, you might find competitions on these brands too. And then really, it's just a case of spending a bit of time on the app, exploring your feed, looking at what other people are doing, and hopefully you should find more and more competitions on the app. 
My final tip really would be to have a go at the competitions where you do need to upload your own photograph. A lot of people don't bother with those and they can be lots of fun. When you do it, try adding filters to make your photograph a little bit more colourful, a little bit more exciting. Just try to make it stand out in the crowd really to see what you can do. There's quite a lot of companies that have selfie competitions so selfies are never that good but if you put on a, an Instagram filter it makes it look a bit more exciting. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you found this video useful. I'll leave some more handy links in the description and please if you've got any questions at all about Instagram, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Hopefully see you soon over at superlucky.me and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well at superluckydie. Be lucky!